I only need 48 content ideas for the entire year. Yes, only 48. And I know that might seem like a very weird, oddly specific number, but there's a good reason why I only need 48 content ideas. And it all boils down to my core content strategy, something that I like to call the hero content strategy. And while we're gonna dive into it today and I'm gonna give you the core foundation of why I only need 48 content ideas, I do have one small caveat. This type of strategy is not gonna work for every single small business owner or every single content creator out there. This type of content strategy works really well for infopreneurs or course creators. Sometimes it works really well for service-based businesses or those creative online digital businesses. And in full transparency, this strategy is going to be really hard to adopt for like a brick and mortar business or a product-based business. And you need to know that this strategy is a bit more advanced. It's gonna take you a lot of time to work up to this amount of content. It's not always the best strategy to start with if you're just new to your content creation journey or you're just starting out because it requires a lot of time and energy, a little bit of a skill set that you need to develop over time. And honestly, it's just a lot of content to produce. So let's dive into the foundation of my specific hero content strategy. This is something that it's not new. It's often talked about by Gary Vee. He became very, very popular for I believe it came from like a slideshow or a presentation or something where he said that every small business owner should be creating like a hundred plus pieces of content a day. And while I think the way that he approached the strategy is actually unattainable for vast majority of business owners, the thought and the idea was there and it comes down to content repurposing. Gary Vee comes with a marketing background, a really big business and a content team of like 20 plus people at any given time. I've taken his idea and really built it to be a content strategy that small business owners and even solo entrepreneurs can really implement without having the resources that he has. And this is something that I've been testing over the last couple of years, and it is the exact strategy that I use in my own business. It really comes down to having a core piece of content that is longer form in nature. For me, it's YouTube videos. For you, it could be a podcast, a blog post, an article, but something that is going to give you breadth and depth, something that's a larger piece of content so that it can be broken down into smaller pieces of content. And here's the kicker is that I talk about one specific topic each and every week. So what this looks like is that I have a YouTube video go out on Monday morning. And the thing with that is that YouTube video and that topic is what I talk about for the entire week on every other social media and marketing channel that I create on. I'm able to take that YouTube video and that content idea and really stretch it out and produce so many other pieces of content. Vast majority of the time, what this looks like is I'm producing at least 30 pieces of content every single week across all the major social media platforms. Obviously there are a lot of tasks and workflows associated with this, but that's essentially the core of my content strategy. So actually implementing this, I sit down and I like to do quarterly planning sessions. So I actually sit down and look at what my calendar looks like for the next three months. I take into account any personal time off, if I have any brand partnerships coming up or any big sales campaigns. And I'm strategically mapping out that hero piece of content. I'm mapping out those YouTube videos for the next 12 weeks. I'm coming up with all the topics. I'm doing a little bit of research. And while I sit down to plan out these next 12 weeks or so, doesn't mean I'm sitting down to create all of that at once. I do wanna let you know that. And the thing with planning this far in advance and using YouTube as my main hero piece of content, I have to keep these topics very broad and also evergreen because I wanna make sure the content that I'm not only planning but also producing is going to make sense when it eventually gets posted weeks down the line. And then after it's posted, is it gonna be relevant on YouTube and on other social media platforms for months afterward? And the reason why I keep things very broad is it's going to allow me to take that core piece of hero content and break it down into very niche pieces of content that'll fit on TikTok with like trending audios, or it might become a robust carousel for Instagram. Because if my YouTube video, if that core hero content is super niche, it's gonna be harder for me to break it down and really repurpose it. So I keep these YouTube videos very, very high level. And the other thing that I take into consideration is over those next 12 weeks, if I have any sales campaigns or brand campaigns coming up, I need to warm up my audience. I don't wanna just go into cold, hard selling for a week or two at a time without kind of warming people up. So let's say I know in a month's time, let's say I'm doing my quarterly planning session, I know that I have a new product launching and I wanna make sure the three weeks prior to that, all the YouTube videos that I'm creating kind of teach people a little bit of that product that I'm going to be selling or at least kind of tackle some of the pain points associated with 
how that product solves a specific problem. And then what I do is the week of that campaign, my YouTube video is directly associated with that product I'm selling and a very strong call to action at the end would be to buy the product. That way I'm ensuring that during that sales week, I'm only talking about that specific product and I'm not confusing my audience. Okay, so now that you know the core foundation and how I plan these, you're still probably asking, why do you only need 48 content ideas? Where does this number even come from? And it honestly boils down to some very simple, very boring math. There's 52 weeks in a year. And if I'm talking about a specific topic for each and every week, that's technically 52 content ideas. And then I actually like to account for about four weeks of any time off that I might want. If I wanna have a bit more of a flexible schedule with my YouTube recording calendar, or just kind of allow for flexibility if I have brand partnerships come up or if I wanna introduce a new sales campaign. So I'm really only striving for about 48 content ideas throughout the entire year. So that's one per week for 48 weeks. And now while I take this core piece of YouTube content and break it down and repurpose it and distribute it in so many different places, just know that I still like to have fun on social media. There are times where I will just jump on a trend or just post an Instagram story that not everything is so rigid and so structured, but the reason why I only need these 48 content ideas is I know that with this strategy, I am consistently delivering value to my audience. I am showing up in the ways that I need to show up to build brand awareness for my business and for my goals, but it also gives me the freedom to create content when I want to, knowing that I always have a consistent amount of content going out and it's a little bit more structured, a little bit more rigid. Because here's the thing, in my industry, in content marketing, in social media, things change rapidly. Things change all the time. So with my hero content strategy and those core 48 content ideas, those things need to be broad. They need to be strategy driven, things that don't change all the time, really delivering a message and my values and what I wanna to give to my audience so that I have the flexibility to create that random TikTok when Instagram decides to change things overnight. Or I can deliver important news and information to you as a content strategist when platforms do big things. And honestly, it just helps me stay true to my content strategy and maintaining the things that I want to maintain, hit the goals I wanna hit, while also avoiding burnout. And again, I know the strategy might seem overwhelming and you might not be at that stage in your business that you can kind of produce this amount of content, but just know that you can always work towards this goal. Because this type of strategy really will help you hit those business goals, those marketing goals, while also saving you time and you can create a lot of content efficiently. And if you wanna learn more about this strategy, I actually teach the full foundation and all the things you need to know inside of my course, The Content System. Sign up for the waitlist at the link in the description below and you'll be the first to know when doors are open again. Other than that, I'll see you next week and don't forget to hit subscribe.